Hey guys, Glitch here, and welcome to Juke and Sausage, A Case of Murder. Welcome to the neighborhood. This is not a corner of the world where the sun never rises. Tonight, something horrible will take place here. We will follow ghost, a ghost named Shook, yep, and a, the cat named Sausage, who can see them. Let's begin. Hey, it's okay, Tets. Don't worry so much about it. I know you well enough by now. No, you didn't mean it. Mean what? Oh, thanks, but no, it's not okay. No, hey, look at me. Really, it is. If I say it's okay, it's okay. You're right, of course. I really do need to start spending more time with you. Tech shovels anciently, avoiding Bo's gaze. Oh, God. Oh, well, actually, I've been giving it some thought lately, and well... I think we need to spend some time apart. You can take the time to concentrate on your brain, and I can try and get my head on straight. I think it will help me see things clear. Hey, whoa, it's late right now, and we're both pretty worked up. How about we both get some rest and think on it? Come and see me first thing in the morning. How's that sound? Yeah, okay, that sounds like a good idea. Night. Good night. And hey... Don't worry about it. <laughs> Tets makes their way slowly through the fields, listening to creatures of the night. Down the path towards them, a figure approaches in the dark. Hmm? They stop and start, as though drunk or disoriented, pausing every so often to hold their head in their hands and fidget with a sheet of paper. As the figure gets closer, it becomes clear who it is. Hey! Hey, Quiz. I'm visiting Bo. Wanted to talk. The pink rat nursely touches their ma the mask on their face every so often, as though the check it's still there. Of course you do. Look, Quiz, it's incredibly late, and can it n really not wait till morning? It's urgent. Well, okay, she's just heading on home. If you hurry, you might still catch her. Thanks. Night, Tats. Yeah. Tet stands still on the path, watching Quiz as they quietly disappear again into the dark. When he can no longer see the pink rat, he silently continues on his way. Meow. Hey, Chew! Meow. Come see what I made! Meow. What are you doing? Meow. Baking! Meow. Why? Meow. I've been watching lots of cooking shows, and wow, have I been getting ideas! Oh. Well, you are an overflowing font of good ideas, Sausage. Meow. Don't you know it? See, I'm thinking if I bake really good, I can have my very own cooking show. Meow. Like, on the television. Meow. This will be it, Chuck. This is my ticket back to fame and fortune. I can feel the warm glow of studio lighting on my fur, even now. <laughs> okay, yep, this will definitely work. Meow. Exactly! So, I came up with this pretty 10 out of 10 recipe, and I called you here for its unveiling. Okay, I'm right. Blow me away with your pure, unbridled baking prowess. Feast your eyes on this. Ew. What the heck is that? My baking. Oh yes, but what is it, as in, what did you place in an oven in order to pull that out? It's a three-layer lemon tort po topped with standing caramel and chocolate sugar warts, baked lovingly with... with chilies from Satan's secret garden. Hmm, you do know there's a frog in there, right? What frog? There's a frog staring right at me. I was using my Nana's cookbook and everything. You, we really ought to burn that book. Is it really that bad? Let me put it like this. If I weren't already dead, eating that would do it. Damn, so my cooking just isn't for me? Perhaps. Or perhaps we can find you a real cookbook. Well, okay, I'll go chuck this out then. Please do. Bon voyage, cake. Be gone, foul bakery. Bon appetit, Ben. You know, maybe I might give another recipe a try. 
I saw a really nice sound triple in there. It really took advantage of ever undepreciated hoof trimmings. And someone screams. What the heck was that? Quick, let's go see. Oh my gosh, oh man, what the hell? Bo! Hey, what's going on? Uh, Chuck recoils violently at the site. Oh man, is that Bo? I think it used to be. I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> and just throwing up, okay. Get it all out. Oh man, this really doesn't look like an accident, does it? Yeah, I'm going to hazard the guess that no, Bo can't cut off her own head with garden shears. What? This was a murder, Chook. Seems that way. Okay, it's time for us to shine as detectives. The neighborhood needs heroes. Wait, what? No, this is really the kind of thing you leave up to the experts. It's going to take a few hours at least for the cops to get here from the mainland. That's precious time wasted. I'm sure it's what Bo would have wanted. We hardly even knew Bo. In that case, then we owe it to her. You've lived next door to her for how long now and you've never once even said hi to her? Chuck and Sausage Detectives. Bloody hell. Oh my god! Okay. Okay, Chuck, let's get to work. Not a moment to lose. I hate you. Alright, investigate. What a way to go. Oh, wait, no. Hey, look, Bo is holding on to something. It's a photo! Who is this? Oh, that's Tex, Bo's boyfriend. They were such a lovely couple. I should really get on the phone with Tex and tell him the bad news. He needs to know. Oh, so you're still here? I've been about five feet away from you this whole time. Okay. Uh. Poor Bo. Hey, look at this. It looks like she was struck on the back of the head. I think she may have died before her head was removed. Gross. Yeah, what? Well, okay. Um. Ah, oh, this lantern is a nice touch. I think we should get some more outdoor lights. We can think about that later. Especially with the murder on the loose. I want to be able to see an attempt on my life in vivid, well-lit detail. I wouldn't have any other way. It looks like the spot has moved. There's scuff marks all along the ground. That's weird. Why does the spot get moved so much? I'll just move it over. Hey, look! A key! What a weird-looking key. I wonder what this opens. No idea, but it looks like a clue. Do you think that's everything? I just want to make sure I've looked everywhere. Looks like Bo had been pieing up plants. Maybe I could take up gardening. Do you think that's everything? Uh... Yeah. Okay, I think I'm done searching. Where to next? Uh... Let's check on let's go check on Min let's go take Min home and make sure she's okay. Yeah, she looked pretty shaken. Okay, let's go. This is your place? Yeah, it's pretty cozy. I wish I had a house with wheels. It does come in handy, I have to admit. I was parked out by the expressway, but there was a huge fire out there last month, so I moved into the neighborhood. Oh, then welcome to the neighborhood! Thanks. So just points to the sign. Are you a magician? What? No, I'm a psychic. Chuck snaps angrily, both unheard and unseen by men. She's a fraud and a crook, that's what she is. So stares at Chuck with a shocked expression. 
What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Sorry, I was just imagining how exciting it must be to have magical powers. Min nods softly while smiling. It's truly a gift. Welcome to my home. Oh my gosh, it's so cute in here. I love it. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you some questions about Bo. That's okay, I expected as much. Do you know anything about this key at all? I can't say I've ever seen that key before, unfortunately. Ah, that's a shame. Can you try and contact the ghosts of Bo at all? Not easily. Whoever killed Bo knew what they were doing. What do you mean? Bo's head was removed and a fold of a loved one was placed in her hand. It ensures her spirit does not remain trapped in the mortal coil. Where does it go? Straight to the other side. So, it's still possible to contact her? It will take some time to prepare, but I believe I can. I can't believe you're listening to this. How come you were at both? I got... I go there once a week usually. Bo grows heaps of those roses and I'd like to take some back... Here to freshen up place. We tend to chat a while too. Talk about what we're both doing. So, just a friendly visit? Yeah, it just helps break the tedium. I get some flowers and Bo gets her fortune once a week. Wow, I think her otherworldly gift didn't see this coming then. So strange, her fortune was really positive last week about coming to Cess. Fortune tellers are all crooks and thieves. She had good fortune coming to her? That's how I saw it anyway. She pulled the crown of mourning that's a great card for Cess and coming wealth. Fate does indeed play cruel tricks on us sometimes. Ha! Well, I am a bed since it's constantly nighttime here. I don't really need a bed. Being naturally nocturnal is another one of my gifts. Don't you still get tired, though? Oh, it's certainly. But that's what energy drinks are for. <laughs> Healthy. The wheels are practically handy because I can move at a moment's notice. True. If I don't like the neighborhoods, not a problem. I just hitch up and move. How'd you move it, though? Well, I did have a meal, but got spooked by the fire near the expressway a while back and bolted. I got Tet and Etsy to help me pull it this time. It wasn't far, but I'm really not sure where I can move again now. Where I can move again now. Okay, I think I'm done quizzing you. Thanks for answering our questions. We might be popping by to see you again. Not a problem, I'm positive the fates will conspire to bring us back together. Okay, let's see what Tets has to say. Wow, was that some kind of shrine? That's kind of obsessive, okay. Oh, wow, yeah. They sure built that quick. Oh man, you can tell he's been crying. Min rang me up as soon as she found Bo. It's such a shock. I can't believe she's gone. I'm really sorry. This is rough. I hate be I hate when big guys cry. Did you see her? Her body, I mean. Do you think it was quick? So said lie. Do not mention the decapitation. She looked at peace. Okay, good. She looked like she was sleeping, like a beautiful Renaissance painting. I had to check I hadn't fallen through a crack in space and time ran light in the I don't even know. Okay, let's not push it. I keep expecting her to walk in, you know. Like she's just gone down to the shops or something. Tets wrings his hands together anciently. Anxiously. Not anciently. <laughs> I don't know tonight. Can we ask you a few questions about Bo? If it helps, catch the person who did this. I'll answer anything. Uh... Have you seen this? Let's see. Yeah, I have. This is Bo's key. Do you know what's for? Pretty sure it's her safe key. I know she hides in the garden, but I'm not sure where the safe is in her house. Ah, so it's a safe key. Thanks, Tets. When did you last see Bo? I was dropping her off at home after leaving Etsley's place. Etsley? Yeah, we tend to go around Etsley's once a week for a game night. We played a board game called Journey to Goblinor. 
nerds. Who's Etsley? Oh, they're an undead sheep, I think. It's hard to tell with these undead cow. They're all starting to look the same. Wow, rude. After I said goodnight to Bo, I dropped her at home. I met a friend of her called Quiz. Said they were going to drop in on Bo. The last person to see Bo alive. Quiz is such a weirdo. I know I should have stopped them. A weirdo, huh? Huh, interesting. Thanks. We should probably go check in on this undead. Quiz too. Why would Bo be holding a picture of you? What, she was holding on to this when you found her? Yeah. Ted State's phone looks are uh, running at his eyes. Well, I mean, she is my girlfriend, but I'm not sure why she would be holding on to it. It's weird though, she usually keeps this picture in a frame inside her house. Hey, Min did say it might have something to do with this making her ghost pass over. Not that I believe that trash, but just saying. So she smiles shyly at Chuck who frowns indignantly, crossing her rings and huffing. Okay, I think I'm done. Thanks for answering our questions, and we think of anything else, we'll be back. Please do, I'll do anything to help find Bo's killer. It's your nice of Ted's give us the key for Bo's house. Way too trusting if you ask me. Okay, let's see if there's any clues in here then. Let's get to work! Investigate, okay. Uh, hey, this is a cool picture, have a look. Whoa, that is awesome! See, we should have a picture like this back in our place. Yeah, we could put where the big cow head is instead. Yeah! In fact, Bo won't even miss this, so I say we can take it home and try it out. Hey, careful. Whoops. Oh, hey, there's the safe. Ah, oh, sweet, I've still got the key. Open. Sesame! <laughs> What's that? I don't know, looks like a lot of papers and stuff. It looks like a lot of notes written by Bo. About Quiz. Quiz is such a weird name. Your name is spelled S O S I G. Sausage shrugged nonchalantly. Nah, my mom had trouble spelling. Whatever. There we go, Dragon is happy again. This is a really nice orchid. I'll be taking that on the way out. I think it will look pretty nice on top of the TV. Oh, those do look comfy. Confirmed, they are comfy. Stop bouncing on them. Hey look, Bo had a computer. Oh man, I want a computer. No way, not after last time. Okay, let's see what we hear. Damn it, looks like she had a password. Well, damn. Do you think we could like, hack it or something? How? Okay, so in movies, the first step is to just type really fast, yeah? I'm watching. Yeah, and that's will like yell computer words. It's like a spell, I think. Alright, you go first. Open source program. <laughs> Intermediate JavaScript. HTML my firewall. Mac address. Kernels. <laughs> Web developer. Oh, I think something's happening. It's working. Okay, the computer's broken. Do you think we are done here? Yeah. Okay, I think I'm done searching. Okay, it looks like I have some more questions to ask. Yeah, there's a couple more people I want to go chat to. Let's go see this quiz person. I want to talk to the person in this manuscript. There has to be a good reason it was in the safe. Is that a mask? It sure looks like one. Why are you wearing that mask? Shy. It helps. You like to hide behind that? I can see why Tets isn't fond of this one. Helps me cope. Can I ask you some questions about Bo? Sure. You were la you were the last to see Bo alive. Can you tell me what happened? I was scared. Scared? About what? I went to see Bo about letter. Huh? Letter? There was a letter? Quiz looks straight ahead for a few moments and finds a crumpled letter and hands it to you shakingly. Don't publish the book. 
the main script was going to be published? Bo's idea. Set so would help me grow. After this, had second thoughts. Hmm. Hey, we found this at Bo's place in a safe. What is all this? You found it? What is this? My diary. My experiences. Bo was helping. So, what's written here? This is all true? Yes. It helps me see everything. Hey, I think you should have this back. So, it's a chance or the manuscript the quiz. Is it really a good idea? I don't know, it just seems like the right thing to do. If you say so. Thanks. Quiz holds the pages slightly to their chest. Okay, I'm done. Okay, I think I'm done for now. No problem. Thank you. Quiz still clings to the pile of papers while waving at you. Okay. Oh, wow. Etsy really is undead. He don't see many of those these days. They tend to carry the whole fire of Hitchfork following with them. Why do Cal become undead in the neighborhood? It's something to do with the stone circle, I think. A curse? Of sorts. Pretty cool that they can run a pub. Our lovely fluzzy zombie entrepreneur. Oh, wow. So you really shouldn't use the Z word. It's really super offensive. Hello and welcome. Hey. So, you're undead then? Wow, smooth. Yes, it does make run this establishment difficult. Not many want an undead serving drinks. That's why I pull the pints. Hebel works at the bar, and I can concentrate on management. Can you get? Can I get you a drink? Oh no, actually, I wanted to ask you some questions about Bo. That's really. That really was distressing news to hear. Poor Bo. We only saw her last night. Uh. Bo was a pretty sweet cow, kind of cool, liked her books. She was a writer of sorts, working from home on novels. Yeah, she spent a lot of time on her computer just writing. Have you ever heard of, have you ever read any of her books? I, uh, no, no, I have not. Edsley shuffles nervously. <laughs> hey, oh man, she wrote some serious smut, dude. What? Hevel <laughs> smiles and, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I see. Ask them where we can buy- Oh my god. For research. Wow. No. It wasn't completely out of the ordinary. It was a fairly regular game night. Although, we were on the cusp of defeating the Goblin Witch when Tets and Boa had an unfortunate disagreement. Yeah, it was really kind of annoying. Like, we had to cut the game session short because of it. It is somewhat inconvenient, but it happens sometimes. Yeah, who? Tets has a well temper. That's for sure. Like, bam. There's no in between with that him. So, Tet often argues with Bo? Unfortunately, yes, he is somewhat prone to unpredictable mood swings. Yeah, that'd be putting it lightly. We speculate that it's due to his, well, how can I put this politely? His breathing. Huh? What do you mean? He's a pit bull, dude. Okay, well then. Now, we all know that for sure, it's, that it's just a rumor. You just have to look at, the, look at him. You can for sure see it when he gets angry. He's all like, grrr. Totally a pit bull. His tantrums on game that can be pretty wild. Anyway, Tez and Bo would usually sell their differences in short time. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm done. Thanks for talking with us. Before you go, you really should try something from my new co cocktail menu. Detect work is thirsty work. Hell looks at you full of hope. I'm so very sorry. He has really been trying to push this cocktail mate that he just created. Go on, look at his little face. He'll be crushed. Sure. Yes. Oh. The Z word. Force spirit. The forest spirit. Yeah, this is very popular. It's fresh, minty, and even has a piece of the forest in it. What do you reckon? Sounds good. Yep, I'll have that one. Excellent. I'll whip this up right away. He's been dying to make a cocktail. He's got this My Little Bartender set for the new year. He won't stop trying to do those bartender stunts. <laughs> it's called Flare Bartender, and boy do I have flair. <laughs> Drink up. <laughs> you have a spring in your step now. Thank you for humoring him. Thanks for the drink. 
Eh, good luck, Wiggles. What are you thinking? If anything, I'm thinking maybe we go see how Min's getting on with her plan to contact Bo. Really? Well, okay, whatever. Let's go see what the Mad Bat cooked up. Hooked up. Uh, what's going on over there? I'm not really sure. Hey, Wiggles. Is that me? Yeah, Wiggles. Come have a look at this. What? Wow, what are you making? It's what I was telling you about earlier. It's a phone to the other side. Uh, yep, yeah, this will definitely work. It's a phone on top of a Scrabble board. Hey, simple is best. Okay, so how does it work? It does not work. Okay, so you write your question in Scrabble letters. It has to be pretty short due to the limited tiles. You'll leave the phone off the hook and dial the dead person's number. Hebel grabs Soldier's hand and holds it tightly in excitement. Then you hold hands and Ghost rings the phone. No, they don't. Okay, I think it's all set up. Did it take long to set up? The board itself, no. The ambience tower needs to be finely tuned. The candles are everything. Typical. So, have you learned anything? We learned some stuff. We found Dyer at Bo's place. It was all about quiz, so we gave it to them. You just handed it right back? Huh? I also thought Bo, Bo worked alone on writing. Not for this one, anyway. Hey, Min. Wiggles, I got... Oh, wait. I gotta run back to the pub, because get it's... Gonna be opening time soon. That's we wonder where I went. I just had to come see the ghost phone though. So cool. Thank you for the help, Hevel. Give my love to Etsley. Laters. Can we contact Bo? Yep, I think I can. If you have Bo's number, I'll dial it in. Ah. Uh, oh, I don't know Bo's telephone number. Oh, that could be a problem. What? You don't know it? She lived next door. Does this work? Well, it should. I'm pretty sure I set it up just right. I haven't tested it, but I'm pretty confident in it. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm done. We'll be back, man. I'll go find Bo's number. Okay, hurry back. I'll be waiting right here. Okay, let's go ask Tets for Bo's number. He's bound to know it. Just a little further to Tets' place. Then we get to use the ghost phone. Don't get your hopes up. Um, is that Quiz? Shit, it is. Why would anyone want to kill Quiz? They were a little creepy, but they seemed harmless. It's a shame. This really is the only outcome in the demo. <laughs> Poor Quiz is going to endure this a few more times. Hang in there, Quiz. You are a trooper. Dignit for the team. <laughs> oh, I like that reference to it just being a demo. That was awesome. Okay, well, that was fun, but since that was just a demo, I kind of have to end this here for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video.